Hello friends, my name is Nick and this is Chip Chat. Today we are chatting about Snyder of Berlin. New, limited run, special batch number 53, spicy jalapeno potato chips. Those, that's a lot of words on this bag. Let's open it up. We all know that it's what's on the inside of the bag that counts. Give them a whiff. Okay, getting a good, good jalapeno smell. Um, although I will say, this is—I mean, this is a, this is a large, large bag. Um, and. Boy, really, I mean, chips, we've got, there's the chips, you know, a good halfway down. And I mean, I guess that's kind of always how chip bags are, but this one seems especially stingy. Um, however, there's the first chip, and that's a good, that's a big chip. It's like a very, like a very smooth chip, which I don't know if I like. It might be, it's like slightly unsettling. Okay. So, it's the first chip chat of the year. Our year, 2020. Can't believe we made it. Now I want to say, real quick, usually I either forget to say this, or I say it at the very end of the video when you probably stop watching. Um, I want Chip Chat to continue. I want it to grow, right? So if you like this, um, these videos or this content, please, Give the video a like, whether you're watching on Instagram or YouTube. Give it a follow. Follow my channel. I'm on Facebook. I'm all over the place. Um, in addition to these videos on Friday, I post photos of chips and things, ingredients of the chips, you know, fun food photos throughout the week on Instagram and Facebook. So, so check that out if you'd like. And, you know, I always like to see comments, questions. If you have a chip you want to see me try, anything like that. If you have questions about these chips or any others, let me know. I'd say one of my goals for Chip Chat this year, my New Year's resolution, is... Not only to, to build the fan base up, get more followers, um, but, but create some more interaction, right, with, with the viewers. So, yeah, help me out there. Throw any chip-related inquiries my way. Now, Snyder Berlin. Um, this is not Berlin, Germany. We're talking about, we're talking about Berlin... Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, as it turns out, is a big potato chip state. I'm from Ohio here, so I guess that's part of the reason why I'm aware of this fact is we, you know, we get all the, or a lot of the PA chip brands out here. So I guess you might say there's a certain pedigree there. And Snyder's definitely a larger brand. And as I mentioned, all the words on the bag in the very long title. Um, I actually like this bag a lot. Um, 
this is so the ciders they always have the this nice like you know foil royal blue um top header but usually the rest is is much more plain and um i don't know retro looking i guess for lack of a better term it has a very distinct simple look which i like this has a lot more going on because it's special batch and whatnot and usually i am not a fan of like whatever this style is where every single word is a different typeface like everything is different usually i think that's terrible but somehow they make it work here i think because it fits in with like the throwback look of this and it's I don't know. It, it still has a... I don't know. I, I don't know why. I like the colors as well. It's just like black and dark green and orange. I don't know. It's it's sort of... It has a unique look to it, I think. So I like that. Now these chips... These are tasty. I am not... Um... Like, I don't seek out super spicy food. Um, I probably have an average tolerance for spicy food. Maybe slightly above average. Because um, I do want, I guess it depends on what kind of food. Um, but if it's like, I don't know. If I'm getting something with salsa on it, I usually want a little bit of heat. If I'm getting, like, Indian food, I want a little bit of heat. But these are... I thought these might be very spicy because they make a point to say spicy jalapeno, even though jalapeno is already somewhat spicy. Um, but no, I would say this is, like, a good level of spice. It's definitely, it has a, it has a little bit of a kick, but by no means like painful or unpleasant to eat, but there's definitely some heat even after I've eaten the chip, there's a lingering heat. So I would say, yeah, I would say. This is accurate as far as calling it spicy jalapeno. That is what it is. And the flavor is quite good. I feel like there is an adequate amount of salt. And I just glanced at the ingredients to verify. You can definitely taste the MSG in there. Um, not to not to knock MSG. Um, it, it's already been had its smear campaign against it, but it definitely has a distinct flavor, and that is present. Um, so if you're not a fan of that. Be, beware. Um, the chips, as I mentioned, <laughs> it's sort of very smooth. Um, maybe I'm just kind of thinking that because I've been doing a lot of like kettle chips and things, um, which these are not, but these are good. They're not too thin. They're, they're, I don't know, average size. Maybe. Thickness, thickness, good crunch, not super salty. Although I do feel like maybe it's somewhere between the jalapeno spiciness and the MSG. I feel like if I ate too many of these, I would be like, the roof of my mouth would be in pain. But they are quite good. 
yeah so let's uh let's head on over to the jib chart and take a look at where these belong so i definitely like them um and they boy this is tough I think, I feel like I'm just kind of, <laughs> I'm worried with this, uh, adding things to the tip chart that I'm like, just kind of adding things to the middle, because I feel like the last few have just gone in the center of the list, but I really, I'm kind of thinking these go between the Lay's Classic and the Lay's Limon because in some respect, you can think of the Lay's Classic as just like an average, solid, plain potato chip. Um, and I would say these are better than that. They have, you know, a, a more interesting flavor. It's not a complex flavor. It's very straightforward. These are jalapeno chips. They have a good kick to them. Um, but I think I I like the Lay's Limon a lot better. I would eat more of the Lay's Limon. And yeah, so so that's that's what we're gonna say. We're not gonna we're not gonna overthink it too much. Um so there we go. Adding to the chip chart the new number six, square in the middle right now. Snyder of Berlin, special batch, spicy jalapeno. Yeah, so these are good. Um, and yeah, I'm glad I, glad I tried these. I don't know how many more of these limited run special batch ones they have or will do. I don't know if literally, I mean, it says number 53. I don't know if that actually means this is the 53rd one, or if they're just coming up with those numbers for the fun of it. Um, but either way, pretty solid. Pretty solid chip. Good bag. Good heat. Good chip consistency. They make it work. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was sure if it was going to be too much spice or not. But it is not. And it is good. Snyder of Berlin. Good job. Pennsylvania. You did it. Yeah. So that about wraps that chip chat up. First one of 2020. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had any other of the Snyder special batch chips I'd like to hear. Or if you have any other jalapeno chips that you really like, it would be good to get some more. Jalapeno chips are pretty, pretty common flavor. Um, so it'd be good to get some more on the list and see where these stack up. Maybe we can do some sort of like cross-reference chip chart where we have like the master list and then we have a ranking within that of the best of each flavor and stuff that would be cool that would be good but i feel like we got to get some more done but we're you know this is number this is uh number six on the list but we have done 12 so far so so we're getting there yeah we're building up the the chart as they say they don't say that but i did so yeah that is all thanks for having me give this video a like follow the page if you haven't already and i'll see you next week